What is up everybody? My name is Lensified and I'm coming at you with another of my restaurant tutorial series. Today, if you do not know what this is, I'm creating an automatic smelting machine that smelts things at eight times as quick as a regular furnace, given that there are actually eight furnaces in there. So, pretty much, instead of having to go into each furnace and put in everything one at a time, split it all up, divide it in your inventory, and use precious inventory space, today we're just going to put it in a chest, put items in one chest, fuel in another, and watch it go to work. So, to start, I'm going to put uh, items in this chest, and you can see that this thing flashes. And I'll explain to you how all this works later, but it does. And if we were to look into the furnaces, it's divvying up the items equally. Now, obviously, with some error, uh, because it's hard to get two and a half ticks, which is the exact number you'd need to divide this up perfectly. Um, I believe I saw this on YouTube somewhere, just a quick warning, but I can't remember where. And I did try to remember it as best as I could and design it from what I could remember. So yeah. Anyway, one problem with this design is that one item of each thing gets stuck in this last hopper. Now, you can always solve this by like getting rid of a torch or getting something to power this torch. But usually what I do is I have a clear button before I start every batch and I hit it and it's hooked up to this block and this block and whatever. Uh, so that's one uh, fault with this. So now there's eight in each chest and we'll throw in the fuel and we'll watch it go off. And we wait. Boom. They all start going at once. So what this does is it's going to collect, I believe, the item directly out of the this spot right here and pull it down into this chest. So as you can see, we already have eight ingots. Um, the only, one of the other problems with this is if you smelt for experience, you don't wanna use this. You wanna pull everything out by hand. Uh, there's a way to do that. You could hook repeaters up back here. But this is the absolute basic design you can add on to it because I do suggest you being an experienced redstone creationist to do this uh, because you need to know the crafting recipes for these sons of bitches. So anyway, now that it's cooking, you can look in here and see that during this time I've already smelted 40 iron ingots, which is an extreme number. We'll watch it go up as it hits the next batch. So it goes up by two, 40, and it does that per time, does eight for every one. So the time would take a single furnace to smelt one thing, does that eight times, perfectly in sync, and it collects it all for you. You can have as many items as you want in this chest, so it'll just back up here, and it'll start going through until it's ready. And when it's all done, you have fuel left in here in case you wanna use any more again. And we look, and we have 64 iron ingots. Yay! Anyway, let's uh, clear our inventories and get to building. So as far as materials go, that is on the right side of my screen, but I'm just gonna go and mouse click what I need. So, you know, I can need that. And I think is it. If I'm missing something, it's on the right of my screen, so you don't even have to worry, because you have all the materials, even if I don't. So to begin, what we're going to do is we're going to start here, and you may notice that there's two gap here making this 4x10 because there's two area for the main wiring block, which is right here, the main functionality of this piece. But what we're going to do is we're going to put down three blocks for covering up, of course. Uh, we're going to put down a double chest, then three more blocks. Then we're going to face two hoppers into the back of this chest and run them along the blocks. These blocks can be used for covering or simply for a guidance on how big you need to make this. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to run furnaces all along the top of this thing. Now this is how it unloads the pieces. Now if you uh, like the smelted parts, 
it doesn't unload from here, or if I had something, it wouldn't unload from there, but this isn't fuel. So as you can see from here. So now that we have that, what we're gonna do is I'm going to take lots of hoppers and face them into the back of these furnaces and into the top of these furnaces. Now this is for loading purposes. It has to be like this. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we're going to put a block here, block here, build up above, and then we're going to get rid of these. And yeah, so now that we have that, we're going to run uh, hoppers along the top, not facing in, but actually facing to the left if you look from it behind. So they're all going towards that last block. And then we're going to, no, we're gonna mirror that on this row. And this is our hopper placement. So we're all done with that. Now what we can do is we can bring these blocks back down and put in two comparators next to each other in a staircase fashion like that. Now hold shift, click at the bottom of those comparators on the front and add a block with a torch going this way and a torch going that way. Now we are going to go to this side of the torch and on top of the torch on both sides face and the blocks go towards the uh towards where the um these things are what are these hoppers thank you i forgot um which is stupid because i'm doing a tutorial and then we're going to put uh com repeaters on top of those now we're going to take a block do the same thing we did with the uh with the comparators and put them where these are facing and then we're going to build two down or you can shift right click on the hopper and then we're going to run these blocks along the distance of these and what i like is that these kind of conceal the build very well you could put a roof like right here and no one would even know so this build is really nice for concealing only thing I have an issue with is where you put these chests, but you can figure that out in your build. Now, we're going to run redstone along the side of this, and redstone along the side of this. And that was actually off. Um, so now, from here, we're going to set the uh, repeater ticks to two. And we are going to align fuel chests on top. Nope, stop it. And not fuel, item chest and fuel chest. There we go. And that is your build. Now, this is a really expensive build. Uh, this is not an early game build like my previous episode was on this. This is very expensive and is not suggested if you don't really know your way around redstone. So, obviously, if you can't tell, these chests are sticking out. That's because these are optional. This is for loading. You can actually just load it right into this first hopper and it does the same thing. Now, one thing I'd like to let you know is that if you don't have the materials or the room, this thing doesn't have to be this long. I make it eight because it divvies up the items uh, evenly and because that's how much a stack is, but this can go up to 12 and down to two because it's, well, it's not even really worth it, but it works the same as you go along, getting rid of these pieces. And yeah, so that's pretty much tileable. Obviously, we can go up to 12, but it doesn't make a lot of sense to go up to 12 uh, because, well, you, what, what are you gonna do with 12? It's not gonna divvy up the items evenly. Um, it, it's just gonna be really difficult to do 12. So anyway, that was my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. We would love new subscribers. Check out our other videos. We got a lot of fun videos on our channel and comment in the and comment what I should do next because I have a lot of these in my mind, but I know eventually I'm gonna run out. I'd love to have all those comments. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. It's Angry YouTube, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.